Hello there. Hello. So my name is Ms. Javier Lorca, and this is the video class for sixth grade. And today the objective and the content is telling the time. This content is very important for you, but it's a little bit complicated. So you have to listen to me very, very carefully. Okay. So let's start with this video. The big question is, what time is it? What time is it? ¿Qué hora es? So we have two important time or two important clocks. The first one is analog clock. So we have the numbers around the clock face are hours. There are 12 hours mark on the clock. Entonces, tenemos 12 horas que marca el reloj. There are 60 minutes mark on the clock. And there are 60 minutes in one hour. This is very, very important. So you have to look at this clock. We have the small hand, the blue one, and we have the big hand the green one. So, the small hand point to the hours. The small hand point to the hours. Three. The big hand point to the minutes. The big hand point to the minutes. But, when the big hand points to 12, the time is a clock. So when the big hand points to 12, the time is a clock. In this case, in this clock, we have the small hand point to 3 and the big hand point to 12. So in this clock, the time is 3 o'clock. Entonces, la flechita chiquitita, que es la azul, siempre la flecha chica va a indicar la hora. Cuando tú veas la flecha pequeña, es la hora. En cambio, cuando tú veas la flecha grande, va a indicar los minutos. Pero también cuando la flecha grande esté en las 12 va a indicar la hora exacta, la hora en punto. Es por eso que en este reloj tenemos las tres en punto. Let's continue. We have two different clocks here. The first one is about four quarters and the second one is about telling the time. So the four quarters. If we were to slice the clock into four equal sections, we will have four quarters. So we have 12, two, three, one quarter, two quarters, three quarters, and four quarters. So each quarter represents a 15 minute section. Si se dan cuenta, tenemos cuatro partes en el reloj. Cada una de esas partes representa 15 minutos en el reloj. And what about telling the time? This is very, very important, ¿ok? Esto es importantísimo. When the big hand moves from the 12 to the 3, it is quarter past the hour again when the big hand moves from the 12 to 3 it is quarter past the hour this is because the big hand has moved quarter of the way around the clock face si se dan cuenta acá si el, la flecha grande se mueve de las 12 a las 3 va a indicar Quarter past, va a ser quarter past, eso quiere decir 
cuando nosotros llamamos las 15, las 2.15, las 3.15, las 7.15 o las 3 y cuarto, las 8 y cuarto. So, quarter past. Siempre les vamos a llamar quarter past. ¿Ok? De las 12 a las 3. After that, we have when the big hand moves from the 12 to the 6, it is half past the hour. This is because the big hand has moved half of the way around the clock face. Okay, so now it's from 12 to the 6. And we have half past. Ahora acá, cuando movemos la flechita grande, ¿cierto? Desde las 12 hasta las 6, y la dejamos en las 6, eso lo vamos a llamar half past que es la llamada dos y media, tres y media, cuatro y media. Entonces decimos half past, de las doce a las seis. The next one, here. So, when the big hand moves from the nine to the twelve, it is quarter to the hour. So, this is because the big hand only has quarter of the clock face to move to get to the next clock. In this case, the, we have from the nine into 12, we have to use the quarter two. En este caso ya cuando vamos a retroceder, cuando vamos a decir 20 para las 3, 10 para las 4, ya acá usamos nosotros quarter two, quarter two, ¿sí? un cuarto para las 2. Un cuarto para las tres. Y esto es de 9 a 12. ¿Ya? Look at here. Mira acá. This is very, very um, important because we have the clock here. This is the most important part of the clock and telling the time. We have the part of two, the part of past, we have a clock, and we have half past. So, If you look the time and if you know and if you see if the small hand and the big hand is from 12 to the 6, we have to use the past. So 5 past, 10 past, quarter past, 20 past and 25 past. And of course, number 6 is half past. But what happened if we see the big hand from 6 to the 12? It's different because it's not past anymore. It's 2. So now we have 25 to, 22, a quarter to, 10 to, 5 to, and a clock. Entonces tenemos... Cuatro partes importantísimas en el reloj. Como les dije antes, cuando el, el, la flechita grande está en el 12, siempre va a ser o'clock, la hora en punto. Cuando la flechita grande esté en el 6, va a ser half past, que eso significa las y media, ¿cierto? Las 3 y media, las 4 y media. Si nosotros vemos acá la mitad, ¿cierto? Del 12 al 6, los números van de 5 en 5. Entonces el 1 no es 1, es 5. El 2 es 10, el 3 es las 15, el 4 es las 20 y el 5 es las 25. Vamos de 5 en 5, ¿ya? Y del 2 al 6, siempre la hora va a ser past. Entonces decimos 5 past, 10 past, a quarter past, 20 past, 25 past. Lo distinto es cuando nosotros vamos del 6 al 12. Y acá, si se fijan, ocupamos el mismo número, ¿ya? Pero ahora no es con past, sino que es con two, porque esto ya es 20 para las 4, un cuarto para las 2. Y entonces vamos de 6 a 12 con el two, de 12 a 6 con past. Las 12 o clock en punto y las 6 half past, ¿ok? Yeah, it's a kind of difficult, I know, but if you study very hard and if we practice the content, it's going to be easier. The next one, we have the second clock. This is easier than analog. This is digital clock. It, it is easy, yes, because 
the hours are to the left of the column, for example, three. The minutes are to the right of the column, 30 in this case. So you can see this digital clock on your cell phone or in your microwave at home, in your watch maybe too, <clears throat> yes. So this is easier because you can use the hour and minutes, that's all. Don't use past, don't use to, don't use half past. So in this case is easier, este es más fácil, este es el digital, porque solo ocupamos la hora, ¿cierto? Las dos, las tres, las cinco, las seis, las diez, y los minutos, y los minutos se leen tal cual, cinco, quince, veinte, treinta, treinta y cinco, cuarenta, ¿ok? Ok, and we have AM and PM. This is easy because we, when we say AM, we are referring to the hours before noon, in the morning, in the morning, yes. And when we say PM, we are referring to the hour past noon, so after the morning. So, for example, the cat is sleeping here. So, 12 a.m. is midnight. We are sleeping at this time. Yes, of course, 12 at midnight. And the second example is 12 p.m is noon this is we eat lunch at this time so this is about afternoon so in the morning i am before noon and p.m afternoon past noon okay so i am in the morning p.m in the afternoon i am entonces siempre le vamos a llamar en la mañana antes de la tarde por supuesto y p.m es la Tarde, ya que esto es past noon, después de la tarde. Okay, and then you can watch a video. In the class, we are going to see a video about the, the, um, the time. So, I'm going to repeat this. This is very important, but it's a little bit confused and complicated. But we have to practice. And now, I'm going to show you what you have to do in the following exercises. Okay, so... This is your worksheet about telling the time. So here you have to practice the content. And now I'm going to explain to you what do you have to do. So the exercise number one, the instruction is read and draw the clocks. Here you have nine different clocks and the idea is you have to read the time here and then you have to draw the clocks. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a leer la hora aquí abajito y luego vamos a dibujar la hora en el reloj. Remember that the small hand and the big hand. So you can use different colors if you want. Recuerden la, la, la flechita chiquitita y la flechita larga, donde iba cada una, y pueden ocupar distintos colores si es que eh, favorece a tu trabajo. Exercise number two. What time is it? What is the time here? So, this is different because you have to write with words. Escribe con letras la hora adecuada. So, you have to look the number here, the time in brackets. For example, we have three, and the time is three o'clock. So you have to look the numbers, and you have to write the time. Van a mirar los números entonces que están en paréntesis, y me vas a escribir la hora con palabras. Acá me van a escribir la hora en la forma análoga. Ok, past two, um, 22, a quarter two, a quarter past, half past, o'clock. Okay? Okay. Number three. What time is it? Write in numbers. This is the opposite. So we have eight different times written by words. You have to read this time and write using numbers. Acá vamos entonces a leer las oraciones y los vamos a escribir con números. And here you can see five to ten. 10 past 11, a quarter to 3, a quarter to 2, okay? This is analog clock 2. Number 4, 
write the analog time down the clock. Now, the clock is ready. Okay, so you have to look the clock and here you have to write the time on the line. So you have four different clocks. Acá si se dan cuenta ustedes ya tienen dibujado el reloj. Tienen que mirar la hora y escribirla en la línea abajo. Y la instrucción dice que tienen que escribirla de la forma análoga. En the last one, exercise 5. Write the digital time. So you have the clock here. Look at the clock. Look at the time. And write in digital time. Esta es un poquito más fácil porque acá ya vas a tener que ver el reloj. Y la vas a escribir de la forma digital. With numbers. Ok, with numbers. Don't use words here. Ok, only with numbers. Acá solamente ocupamos números. Ok, so. That is that you have to do about your exercises. I know it is complicated, that as I told you before, but practice, okay? Do it. If you have doubt, if you have questions, you can send me an email, okay? Or you have to wait for the classes, okay? So thank you very much. Take care of yourself and see you in the next video class. Bye-bye.